Hello, this is G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears! Since last time, I've rearranged, or well, I rested up at, or downstairs there, but I need to move some of my equipment around. So, let's see, we're going to be getting some new body armor and headgear in the very near future, so I'm not going to bother equipping those right now, but let's see. I'll list my setup in the video description, but uh, yeah, for right now, Bart and Faye, those are the only ones I want to equip. See, Tan is not going to be in action, so we're not worried about it. Let's see, with the gears there, I'm just going to remove everything at this point. But one thing to note is that, yeah, Heimdall comes with its own equipment. So extra armor plus three, that's really good at this point in the game. Old circuits, it's always good to have more... Uh, response on a gear and speaking of which there's also a really good uh, gear part or accessory for gears that you can buy right now called uh, magnetic coats and those increase your response by 25 that's pretty huge they're one of my favorite accessories for gears in the game but at this point they are a bit pricey and we really don't need that much response to be able to hit enemies right now anyway. So I'm just gonna wait on that for later, not to mention they will be farmable later too. There's some enemies later on that'll drop them so we can save a lot of money instead of dumping four grand on those things. Holy cow. So let's head on into Bledevik and see if we can find where Margie is being held. Uh, game? Yeah, sometimes the game hangs like that where you're, it's trying to load something, but it doesn't say anything about it. I liked how they just take the boss music and really slow it down. I mean, that's basically the theme we got going here. But I like it. It's a nice touch for this scene. So I guess that's one of the Gebler aircrafts or something. Wish we had something like that. But not today, not today. One day, viewers. One day I will have my own blimp. But that is not today. And the back part of it looks like a flying saucer. Oh, it pretty much is, really. Looks like a space shuttle, really. Something like that. Okay, now I have been trying to figure out what those words are in the song for the past 20 years. If you know what those words are, let me know, viewers. I don't. I mean, what was he saying? Like total sentence flow of the gas tank or what what does that even mean i don't know we'll hear those lyrics again coming up here eventually so who are these guys yeah they're lambs But, okay, so what are these guys doing here? Bringing a whole airship here seems like overkill. But I guess we did fend off some of their gears just a moment ago. Ah, there's that bastard Chikan. Oh! Yeah, that's what they do. Okay, here come the words again. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. And I have no idea what is with that plus sign on the guy's head. What is that, like a tattoo or something? Oh. Well, yeah, they're gears.
I would think a general would be higher ranked than a commander. Unless you're, like, the commander-in-chief. I like the mustache Shikan is there, though. I just like his look in general. What incident? Oh, they talking about Veltal? Maybe they're talking about something else. Hmm. Eh, I don't know. It's probably not important. Oh, yeah. They've been kind of working on that for some reason. Kind of reminded of Double Dragon. She's just a little girl. Holy Mother of God? No. No, that's not her. I like the purple hair Miang has. Hmm. I wonder what they mean by relics. Eh, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about it. We've never, we've certainly never heard of anything about that. I love how they actually give the villain some amount of screen time. What a concept! You can never have enough villain screen time in a JRPG. Villains create the motivation for the protagonist. That's their job. So the more villain presence you got, the more motivation I've got as a player. Ah, okay, so that's her. Right, for a second there, I thought I hit something on my controller when the camera angle suddenly shifted. That's... I, I mean, good, good. Hmm, I never noticed that... Um, Margie has blue eyes there. Hmm. Remember that for later, viewers. Oh, evidently not. I think Nissan is like its own country or something. Like, it's not really part of Ave or Kislev territory. Man, there's a lot of factions to keep track of in this game. It can be a little confusing the first time you play the game. Well, couldn't you, uh, I don't know, set up a... A phone call or something? I would think you guys would have that kind of technology. But I guess not. Or they just don't care. Well, she, I don't think she's old enough to be a woman yet. Come to think of it, I don't know how old she is. She looks like she's six years old to me. But then again, I'm not very good at judging age. What, you, what leak? Ridiculous! What, you haven't been working on that already? Well, I don't think that's going to really help you that much, but more power to you if it works. Say but again. 
Oh, okay. So he is like the commander in chief, huh? So he's referring to Ramses there, by the way. He's the big guy in charge of the Solaris military, Gebler. So just something to keep in mind. But all right, now we're back to the party and we are in Bledovic here. And there are a lot of people around here and houses. I'm not gonna get to most of that stuff today. But I will try to do some of the mandatory stuff, or at least some of the more interesting stuff. Whoa! Hey, calm down, buddy. That was scary, dude. I wonder if there's a way to get past that guy without talking to you. But yeah, for some reason, that guy just, like, makes a beeline for you. Oh, no, not yet. Not that I'll really need one. But yeah, if you talk to him, you... Well, yeah, you get a little shot of the hotel there. And yeah, you can get a little discount there too. Not that I'm going to take advantage of it, but it's there. Okay, let's see. Let's go... Now you could go into the hotel through the front door. But let's not do that. Let's go over here. See, we got a little house here. I want to take an alternate way to get in the hotel. Hey, okay, how's it going? That's... Well, he's just on the roof. Oh. Mm, maybe. But all right, let's get upstairs. And let's see, where are we? Okay, so if you go out here, I don't think there's any actual treasure to get in the city, but we can get some other things around here. But yeah, you can get on the roofs of some of these houses. And if you go into this window, hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. So, yeah, you get a little different reaction from her, depending on uh, how you enter the hotel here. So, yeah, just something mildly amusing there. Oh, yeah, that's a job. I wonder why they call her mother anyway. Hmm. Well, we'll learn a little more about that later. I think they said a little bit about it before. I would think she's too young to be a mother, but what do I know? Haha! -ha! Alright, well, now we know where to go. Hmm. Well, that's one problem out of the way. Well, let's see if we can find a secret passage into the castle then. But yeah, we can talk around here and stuff. I'll go over the shops and all the other stuff and some things with the NPCs next time. I'm not going to get into that today. But... There is a lot of stuff around here. This is a pretty big city. I mean, I've seen bigger, but... Okay, let's see. We need to go... I don't know... Yeah, let's go this way. If I can get off this thing. There we are. Okay, let's see. Get up here. And let's see. I don't know if it matters which guy we talk to. But let's talk to this one first. See, I know one of these old guys has what I'm looking for. Oh, well, good for you guys. Can I get to the other guy? There you are. Oh, 
Yeah, I suppose the uh, spring is why they built the city here in the middle of the desert. Oh, yeah, sure. This is another little uh, side quest that you can do for the hide and seek, and I'll go over that in just a moment. Okay, it's not that guy I talked to. Let's see if I can get that kid out of the way, or I can just look this way. There you go. Okay, so once you examine the grate there that leads to the underground waterway, yeah, you get this little hint, and I think you need to do that in order to get the kid to tell you what you need to know in order to advance the plot. So, yeah, a little bit of a tricky sequence trigger, but nothing too extreme. What do you think this is? Mystic Arc? Okay, so not only is this kid the kid that the other one was talking about for hide and seek, he's also the kid who knows about the underground waterway there. And, yeah, it's kind of annoying to get through the whole place, but, well, we'll get there in a moment. Spoiler alert! We're going to be using that underground waterway to sneak into the castle. But there it is. Wow. Well, fortunately, we're not amateurs. Oh, okay. So, yeah, now we got to go back to the other old guy. Or the old guy that we just talked to. And hopefully he will do what we need him to do. Ha-ha! All right. So, yeah. Examine the grates there. Talk to the hide-and-seek kid. Talk to the old guy. Tell him that... No, no, we don't want to steal stuff. We want to rescue Margie from the castle there. And once you do that, we should get the key. Ha-ha! All right. So that's all we need to do here to advance the plot. But now, I want to do the hide-and-seek minigame with the kid there, because, well, we get an item out of it. And there's four places where he's going to hide. So let's see. We need to go by the hotel here for the second spot. Or... Oh, he's not there. I, he should be. Oh, wait. Oh, there's the other place. I remember now. Okay. Yeah, it's... I thought we needed to... Or did I? I did talk to him about that. Okay, he is gone. So... Okay. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Okay, uh, we gotta go to the exit of this part of the city... Haha! -ha! Okay, I thought I already found him the first time, which I did, but I was I was thinking about the third location where we need to find him, not the second time there. But yeah, all you gotta do to get the kid to go to a different location is just go in and out of an area and he'll be at the next spot. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Using gears to mine for other gears or something. Man, what's with all these gears being hidden underground and stuff like that? Nah, it's probably not important. But alright, okay, now the kid shows up in this location. That's what we needed. Oh, yeah, I suppose. But all right, this is the Ethos Gear Shop, but we don't need anything to, or we don't want to buy anything there, so I wouldn't worry about that. But all right, let's see. Now, no wait, this isn't the right spot. I think it's upstairs? No, we can't see that from over here. Yeah, we got to go to the upper one. I know it was one of these hallways. There he is. Okay, yeah. It's kind of hard to tell, but if you, yeah, rotate the camera angle, unfortunately we can only move it in increments of 45 degrees, so. Okay, one more spot to find the hide-and-seek kid. 
and then we can get our prize. So let's see. This this time he's at or closer to the entrance of the city. It's kind of hard to see him, but he's right around that corner there. Ha ha! And for fighting him, we get another badge, the Hide and Seek badge. So that, along with the Rock, Paper, Scissor badge, along with one other badge, and we can get an item out of it. Or a couple items out of it, I think. Not that they're very good, so if Rock, Paper, Scissors isn't your cup of tea, well, okay, then, yeah, that wouldn't be worthwhile. But I'm getting them just so I can show them off. But all right, okay, so we, have, we got the well key. We know how to sneak into the castle now. What we need to do now is find, uh, what is it? We need to find a way to distract the guards while sneaking into the castle. So we're gonna be splitting up for the next segment. Let's see, we got Shikan Square here. We gotta go through. And there's a few mini games around here, one of which I'm going to play to get some pretty good equipment. The others, not so much. I'm not going to show off every single mini game I got here, but I will show off at least one of them. The one that's remotely important. But yeah, let's go into the castle. Yeah, we can't bring Bark along for that, but that's not really a major concern. So are we actually in the castle? I don't think we are. We're kind of like outside of the castle still. But I guess this is like the entrance or something. But let's see. They got well, some kind of tournament. Well, what do you got here? Oh, really? Wait a minute. I get the feeling I'm about to be drafted. Yeah, I've played this JRPG before. Three times, in fact. Or at least three test runs that I did for this LP. <laughs> no, of course not. Now you're just talking crazy. Oh. <laughs> um. Just because I don't want to fight doesn't mean I'm a coward. Wouldn't anyone else doing well in the tournament do the same thing? Spoiler alert! No! We have to participate in the tournament. So, the idea is that Faye will participate in the tournament, do really, really well, and distract the guards. Meanwhile, Bart will go into the underground waterway to sneak into the castle, find Margie, get in and out like the wind, boom, we're good to go. Hooray! But all right, we need to sign up for the tournament here. So yeah, like Sitan said, oh, dude, hmm, for some reason I can't get him to talk to me. Hmm, let me try the other one. But, yeah, like Sitan said, we need to make up, I don't know, what do you call it, a code name or a handle or whatever. You need to make up a name for yourself so people won't recognize you there. And I'll let you, the viewers, decide who or what name I want to, or what name you want me to use for the tournament there. We got the first part of the name and the second part of the name, so you put them together, that's going to be your name for the tournament. Place your votes now. Which name will I use? Find out next time on Let's Play Zeno Gears. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. <laughs>